Hello Capricorn and welcome to your August 2023 tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for you for the month of August. I'm going to pull an overarching energy, then we will pull some general energies and then look specifically two cards, love, romance, relationships, two cards in money, career, finances and any other thread that comes out. So we have some kind of offer for you. Let's see what we have with that. We have the Three of Pentacles. Another three, the Three of Swords. Four of Cups. We have the card of Capricorn for me in the Minor Arcana, the Queen of Pentacles, male or female. Let's see what we have with that. I'm going to pull two cards for Love, Romance, Relationships. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Love, Romance, August 2023, Angel Spirits Guides. We have the Ace of Swords, Five of Swords. Let's see what we have in Money Career. What do we have for Capricorn? Money, Career, Finances. We've got the Sun. I mean, that's lovely. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have the Nine of Pentacles. That's lovely. That's a lovely combination for a money career. The sun represents that sense of light after dark and it really does feel, yeah, very, very positive. Okay. Angel answer card for Capricorn. What do we have, please? What do we have for Capricorn? We have Choose a New Direction. Let's see what we have in Love, Romance, Relationships. Love, Romance, Relationships for Capricorn. We have Keep an Open Mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Let's see what we have in money areas. What do we have for Capricorn, please, as a message? We have focus on your priorities. When you put your focus, where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. All right, Capricorn, I am going to pull you a power animal oracle card. Let's see what we get for you for the month of August. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Power animal oracle card for the month of August. We have porcupine, innocence, free yourself of guilt and shame. Let's see what we have as a number card. Message for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. We have time out, number 37. Take time out. Take care of you. Take a little break. 
It might help you in some way. Recharge, get perspective. So if you can hear it, my chair is really squeaky. It's like creaking all over the place. <laughs> it's a really comfortable chair. <laughs> All right, what do we have as a fortune cookie for Capricorn? Message for Capricorn. Fortune cookie for Capricorn. We have assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections. Birth of a child also likely. But assertion. And I'm going to pull you an energy card. What do we have for Capricorn? Energy card for Capricorn for the month. Okay, thank you. So we have the thinking man. Again, I'm not really gender specific. specific. That can be you, male or female. Uh, but obviously there's thinking process going on here with the four, number 46. Again, there could be somebody who... You might be waiting for an answer from, so however that manifests for you. All right, Capricorn, I feel that you're going through. I mean, I want to focus on money career because there's a really clear message coming through. Um, it, it feels like some kind of um, experience that you've gone through and it's been hurtful. Again, the Three of Swords can be linked with emotional pain, breakups or somebody causing you emotional pain on some level and I feel whatever this situation is it's the fallout as a result of that uh, so the three of swords can be pain hurt um, letdowns uh, it can be linked with third party situations painful truths and so on and so forth now with the queen of pentacles it might well have it might well be about money um, because again, the th or, or career, you know, so however this happened for you, it, the, the Queen of Pentacles can actually be to do with abundance. And there could have been some kind of pain or hurt or disappointment to do with your money area. Now, there may well be a scenario going on here. I mean, this is, situation might well be a fallout um, Because of what that, because of what that Three of Swords is all about. For example, if there was, for example, changes in your employment, or hurt caused you in some way, for example, in a in a career scenario, there may well be some kind of uh, award or sum of money, for example, as a result of what you've experienced. This could also be to do with health areas as well. If something affected your health or, again, there was an accident or some kind of physical injury or mental injury in some way, I mean, uh, or health health issue as a result of what you experienced, the, the message would be the same. And this could be a legal process, but it's not limited to that. Um, it can be linked with government institutions and so on and so forth. Again, not limited to that. But it's whatever this Three of Swords is. The Three of Swords can even be about breakups in relationships, uh, divorce, separation of assets. This can also be, again, whatever pain it would be, even potential of inheritance. And so whichever area this is, I'm just giving you a few examples. The message really remains the same. But I feel this is what you're dealing with here in money career finances because there is a focus to hurt being associated with money and abundance, you know? Now, the Knight of Cups can be an offer. Now, it can be a very positive offer as well. Whether it's an offer of help, somebody off help offering to help you through a difficult time or whether it's an actual offer that leads to money leads to uh, some kind of significant offer being made to you. There's a strong message with this reading of not settling for less. Because whatever this is, Capricorn, I get a sense that you're, you're berating yourself in some way or 
whatever the other party might be arguing, you might be thinking, well, is it me? Have I done something wrong? You know, you might be second guessing yourself in some way. That's why I feel spirit has broke out that porcupine energy because spirit is telling you you're not to blame in this. Whatever this three of swords is, know that, you know, um, don't feel guilty anymore. Don't or don't let somebody make you feel guilty. So whatever that scenario is, this is again, free yourself from that uh, and focus on you. Because again, the Queen of Pentacles can actually be where you might need to take some time out to take care of your health, to take care of you, to pamper yourself, to put yourself first, to take care of your health. You know, so just focus on that here, Capricorn, because those are definitely messages that I'm getting. Now, there is going to be some kind of monetary negotiation going on here. I do feel, however, that the, there is going to be potentially a sequence of offers. The first one is going to be something that underwhelms you. The Four of Cups can sometimes be when we're offered something. And again, as a result of some kind of negotiation, compromise between parties, uh, and I feel it's linked with money in some way. But I feel that this is a little bit more cheeky in the sense that they're probably not giving you everything that they should and they need to give more. And that's what I'm seeing here. There was a strong message here of not settling for less than you deserve here. So however that manifests for you. Because really the Three of Pentacles is is all about if there is some kind of negotiation uh, compromise. It's all parties need to uh, get something out of it, but get something out of it in an equal way. So that's what I'm seeing here. So it can be some kind of neg negotiation through with a person or people. Now here's the thing. <laughs> that is lovely because the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun is everything turns out well. Um, the sun is a card of good news, celebration, joy, happiness, light after dark. You're really being told everything is going to end out well for you. And, um, and it's a great card of success and abundance as well, the sun card. It can even be positive energies, especially if you're negotiating on the things in the picture as well. So sometimes pentacles energy can be money and career, but as part of that process, it can also be with things that matter to you as well, or people. So we have children. It could be about children. This could be to do with custody. This could be to do with, you know, a, a green, you know, negotiating what happens with a child or children. Animals as well would be a very positive thing for you as well. The Nine of Pentacles is a great card of you get what you deserve and you will stand in your own abundance and your own success at the end of this process. So that's what I'm seeing here. The Knight of Pentacles for me as a reader, it links to our emotions. So whatever this offer is, and I feel this will be a final offer coming your way, we have some kind of offer with the Four of Cups. You're not sure whether to say yes or no to it. And I feel that there is more negotiation to be had. This is the energy here where there is going to be a final offer that brings that sense of happy change. So that's what I'm seeing for you here, Capricorn, certainly in terms of money, career, finances. Sorry, my chair is squeaking again as I move, but never mind. <laughs> so, And you can move on. Choose a new direction. So that's what I'm seeing for you. Now let's have a look at yeah, the other message that I was getting actually was with, with, with money and career Capricorn. If it wasn't specifically to do with um, a process that you were going through, the Three of Swords can be about emotionally hurt to do with money areas. The other message that I was getting here with the, with the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Cups you might be offered something here, and we have an offer here too, but you're not sure whether to take it or not. Now, sometimes this can be because the offer comes in a little bit of a different form that might well expect you to compromise on your checklist, you know, what you're looking for. Um, but I don't feel it feels like in this scenario, if that's the case, that would be still very positive for you. For you, The sun is a card of, of good news, celebration, joy, happiness, 
the nine of pentacles standing on your on your own two feet in your own abundance in your own success uh, the nine of pentacles manifests success it's about reaping the fruits of your labor so again if this wasn't some kind of the first thread that i got the other thread that i'm getting here would be the offer might come in a different form i mean that could well be not exactly the same role it could be a different kind of package or setup um it might well cause you to make some significant changes as well i mean it may well be moving or relocating i mean whatever the scenario would be so you need to think about it here but really with the four of cups we trust our instinct uh, sometimes it can be linked with we need to give it consideration and not dismiss it because ultimately it can be an answer prayer you know sometimes it can be uh, something that's offered to us might not seem like the right solution and then when we think about it more and more actually it seems positive so this is the energy here that you just need to consider it because sometimes we can dismiss this kind of energy out of turn so however this manifests for you here that was something else that just dropped in so I feel I need to say it now let's have a look at love romance relationships and I want to go over here first Because the, the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords can be linked with a truth coming to light. And the Five of Swords can be conflict as a result of that. Someone's actions causes you to see the truth of the situation for what it is. And then you decide how you want to move forward. Generally, when we see the truth, again, the choose a new direction. It can be about wiping the slip clean and moving forward in change with another person so that you don't experience this again so forgiveness can be part of that process we can also remove ourselves from that situation as well so however you choose i i feel that obviously with the ace of swords you're going to be clear you're going to get that sense of clarity and epiphany and um, that moment of lucidity when all of a sudden you understand how you're going to respond to this situation because the five of swords can be when someone's disrespectful. They go and do what they want to do and they disregard, dis they disregard the effect it has on us. So again, the five of pentacles can be conflict, fallouts, even the potential of endings because, again, it's about seeing a truth and then making some kind of choice and decision in terms of how you respond to that. There is an offer here, and it feels like an apology, uh, male or female with this knight as well, but this feels like somebody's wearing their heart on their sleeve, wanting to bring positive change to and being sorry for what they've done, for the fallout that they've caused. And I think that you are, you're really studying this here, Capricorn. The Queen of Pentacles is a very patient energy, male or female. Uh, but you're really studying in terms of whether healing can take place, whether this person will bring stability, will bring value into your life, will treat you in terms of the energy that the, ex the Queen of Pentacles expects, being valued, be appreciated, um, respected in some way. So the Three of Swords is you've been hurt. Again, emotional pain, painful truths, third party situations, the potential of breakups. But I feel you're really studying this in terms of I mean, taking your time, really taking your time with these two energies in whether you accept what this person is offering you. And this is the energy of I need to think about this. I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. I need to think about whether we can rebuild whether we can rebuild this relationship it does feel here the way forward becomes clear for you so however however that manifests for you here it feels like you're going to get some kind of answer some kind of epiphany um, brainwave you know lucid moment where you're like yes you make your mind up with what you're being offered and that's what I see for you here Capricorn and it's for, it's positive because this is the energy where we move forward in truth 
we're truthful with ourselves. We, we move forward through a new door in authenticity to embrace a healthier reality. So this is okay. Well, if I am going to rebuild this with you, then we're going to, we're going to, this is going to be, di- it's going to be different this time. And my expectations are going to be different and the ground rules are going to be different. And this is the energy that you'll be adopting here, if that's the case, if you choose to rebuild with this person. And similarly, if you choose to end this, again, the message is that you just move forward in truth. You see the truth of the situation and you choose not to associate with that person anymore because you don't want to expose yourself to being hurt again. That's the energy. So however this resonates for you, whatever this three of swords, it's teaching you something and you're really learning. You're really getting information from this and you're really studying the detail of what this means and the lesson in it, which Capricorns are very good at doing. So that's what I have for you. And take time. Uh, Don't be pushed emotionally or by other people to... It's in your own time. That would be the energy here. Because this is a card of reflection with the Four of Cups. Take some time out, some, some good time out to think, I feel. Now, Capricorn, the Five of Swords can also be where we fall out with a group of people. Uh, that could be between family or between love, romance and family, for example. So again, the same message applies. It can also be with friendship. So I always talk about love, romance first, but this could also be, like I said, with people who are close to your heart, friends, family, love, romance, children, you know, however that manifests for you. So I'm going to pull you a message from Spirit. What do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. We have gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. I did want to look at the bottom of the deck, actually. I've got seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So powerful connection. Guidance, spiritual help, support. But this is the energy here. If you're if you're seeking an answer, if you're seeking the way forward in a scenario, it feels like that help and support is available for you to find it this month. Again, the Ace of Swords is, like I said, uh, that kind of breakthrough. It can be very good in terms of clarity, truth, epiphanies, answers, you know. Final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn. For the month of August, we have Leafcutter Ant, Army of Life. Ask for help, seek support, you are not alone. And that could be spiritual as well, though it can be with other people. If you need help, if, you, if you're thinking about this, ask for help and advice from a trusted confidant. I'm going to pull you one more. Any other message for our lovely Capricorns? Thank you. We have Swan, graceful transformation. Soften your heart and find your flow. The Swan is a quite a dignified energy, you know, regardless of whatever this is the uh, free yourself of guilt and shame, innocence, you know, and hurt being caused you in some way, I feel there's a sense of responding with dignity, you know, to, to, to find your way forward here. That's what I have for you, Capricorn, for the month of August. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.